Before the break, I got to talk to some very talented chefs and even got to taste some of their dishes. Let's go talk to some more. Tell me about your experience here on Miami Beach today at the Seafood Festival. Well, this is our actually third annual uh, South Beach Seafood Festival. We've participated in all three years. Uh, we always strive on the freshest ingredients. We have freshly shucked oysters. We have our traditional oyster shots. We have our base scallop sweet orange and lime ceviche to die for. And uh, we, you know, it's a fun experience. We, we all enjoy it. And uh, at the end of the day, it's all about what we accomplish. What's the best part about being outside on the beach? Uh, being out of a building. <laughs> nice to have that sun above your head and the nice breeze and, you know, serving the, uh, serving the community, you know. Have you run into any customers that come up and say, oh, we love Tarpon Ben? Absolutely. There's uh, almost every other one is a uh, Tarpon Ben fan. Tell me a little bit about uh, Tarpon Ben and your restaurant in Coral Gables. Well, Tarpon Ben, we're, we're known a uh, legendary happy hour. We have our two for one all day, every day. Um, we do... We have legendary brunch, uh, Saturday, Sunday, 11.30 to 3.30. We do bottomless mimosas. And then a lot of people don't realize that there's such a great kitchen behind the whole thing. And that's where I stepped in, and I stepped into the front of the house, and that's where I can kind of bring the experience to everyone. Uh, the food that we serve is top notch, only local, fresh ingredients, and that's what we strive on. All right, we'll get a couple shots and uh, check out your product, okay? Let's do it. Thanks, Aaron. Wow, that, that's the best. You don't even have to prep them yourself. Just done for you. Excellent, really good. All right, we're with Steve Haas, the owner of City Hall Cafe on Biscayne Boulevard. First of all, how's everything going with you today? Outstanding. I, I just love this event. This is truly one of the greatest events in Miami, in Miami Beach. All right, Miami has a lot of great events. What do you like most about this one? Well, Miami does have a lot of great events, and I'm very proud of all the events in Miami, but this one is one that's very special to me. I've been involved since the beginning, and each year it's getting bigger and better, and they, they're just doing it right. It's a great event. Tell me a little bit about City Hall, the restaurant. Uh, City Hall is located on 20th and Biscayne. We're open for lunch, for dinner, and of course we have our famous gospel brunch. And uh, you guys got involved with the Seafood Festival. What are you guys making today? Today we have truffle lobster mac and cheese wow. and our famous mahi sliders. I don't know which one of those ones. They both sound good. They're exceptional. They how? really are. They, I really, I'm not just saying it, I mean it. All right, and how has the response been from our uh, participants? Oh, look, at, look at this. The line is long and it's it's just a great, it's a great time. I actually love this event. Um, can I get these uh, dishes that you serve them daily at your restaurant? Absolutely. The uh, truffle lobster cheese just went on the menu and on our bar menu is the mahi slider. Have you, you guys are just across the bridge. Have you run into a bunch of your customers out here today? I haven't stopped. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. It's a great thing. It's a great thing. A lot of our customers are from Miami Beach. Absolutely. I, I live on the beach. I go across the bridge all the time. Exactly. We're actually only 10 minutes from the beach. I know you are. So uh, it's a very easy uh, way uh, to get there. And there's never a parking problem. No, we have plenty of parking. We have four lots. All right. Steve, thank you so much for your time. All right, now we're going to try City Hall's truffle mac and cheese. This is going to be good. That's truffled lobster mac and cheese, and the hits just keep on coming. I'm getting pretty full, but there are still many more restaurants to try. Stay tuned for more right after this quick break.